go even further beyond! Yerp, my name's Akashi and in this video we are just going to be grinding out the Zenkai Trunks Youth Co-op event where you get tickets so that you can summon to actually get him Zenkai'd. He's a Legends Road unit which means he's a free unit but his Zenkai is also free and all you have to do is pretty much play Hyper Dimensional Co-op for you to be able to actually get the tickets for, for you to then summon on him and get the Zenkai Z power to class him up all the way to class 7. So he's a real game changer because he's going to be benefiting you a lot. He's strong. Zenkai units are not meant to be weak. They're meant to be absolutely stronger than all of the normal units. And the fact that he's free is definitely a unit you're not going to want to miss out on. Because I remember when Goku Youth event first came out, people were thinking, oh, the grind's so long. Uh, you don't want to go for it. Duh, 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 duh. But I'm telling you right now, it's absolutely worth your time. So do not miss out and make sure to partake in the Trunks Youth event. The Trunks Youth Zenkai event. Now, I made a video covering the best way to actually get him Zenkai Awakened and the reception on that video is actually really great. I appreciate everybody that watched that video. I know it helped out a lot of people, but it's really just doing my part. Like, I like helping people, so if I can, I will. But this video here, I'm just going to share a few more extra things. Like, I pretty much spoke about everything in that video, but I'm going to go over it again here. But spe specifically just for grinding purposes. In that video, I pretty much covered the whole basis of how the event works as well as giving you the breakdown but here I'm just gonna go over it like like a slice of bread with a knife and butter like just slide over it easy but um right now you can see I'm doing the double rise and rush this is this is a stranger like a really good stranger when you just search um he's a really good player and we actually got the rise and rush together and we actually ended up doing it in one go I believe which is actually good that's actually what you want to do so you want to go for the break obviously that's when you finish the bar field uh, complete the bar and then from there uh android 17's health will be red so they'll be regenerating and there you'll be doing most damage you'd actually be taking down his health but within that time is when you want to do the double rise and rush after you've activated your first main ability which allows you to transform and after you've uh, activated your second main ability which is the one that summons your mesenko the special move you actually get a special move buff as well and that's how you're going to do most rise and rush damage with your teammate if you both rise and rush simultaneously to get the super rise and rush now that's just the quick game plan of advanced i um spoke about in the other video that i made uh for your first hundred i believe i said 200 in the video but it's literally a typo but not even a typo but like i just made a mistake but um Later in that video, you could see like it's a mistake because I even wrote after you've Zenkai'd him, you should play advanced because Trunks Youth is actually like amazing. And I was speaking that um, Trunks Youth is probably a, is, is as good as Vegito Blue, if not better, at Zenkai. And when you get him to like the high stages of Zenkai, is the best unit for the event. There's nobody better than the actual unit for the event. They're meant to get the bus because they get these boosts and whatnot. It's just how the game works. They always make the unit that's newest to the game the strongest for the newest event more time that's how it works but um it, it this is the that's the case for this um hyper dimensional court so if you've got trunk zenkai use him for advanced that way you'll be getting more tickets and faster as well i did say in the other video and i showed it given i gave all the evidence the receipts i didn't just say it i showed it with the time i even sped it up twice as fast it doesn't actually take 18 seconds and 42 i believe it would be like double that so it would be um it was 42 so 8 84 and what was the other one 18 so it'll be 36 it's not going to be it'll, it'll be 30 sec 36 seconds <laughs> and 84 seconds in comparison to what i actually gave you because it was times two for uh, advanced and beginner beginner obviously being the one with less time which would be uh 36 but um once you've got him zenkai you're pretty much good to go on advance so you'd actually be getting more tickets from clearing advance as the drops but you can also do that from the missions tab and one thing I didn't specify on specifically but I did write a comment on it and uh, I feel like people because it wasn't exactly the clearest thing even though it did help people blatantly I know that once you pass a hundred hyper dimensional court battles the missions tab actually changes the missions from 300 tickets for every five battles to 150 tickets for every five battles 
And when it does that transition, that's when I suggest you begin to play advanced because you want to compensate for that extra 150 tickets you're no longer getting um, from the, the missions tab in the actual advanced mode. And by then you'd actually have trunks at least Zenkai 2 or 3. And if you soul boost them as well, you definitely just be doing way more damage and it'd just be way worth your time to just do the um, the advanced mode instead of the beginner mode because you'd be actually saving your time from the ticket drops as well as the missions tab. It's, it's a two for one that way because your trunks is that strong that you can actually clear it, clear it faster than you would think you could. Beginner is insanely fast, don't get it twisted. Like I got 18 seconds on time two speed, but it could have probably been less than that given a better run. So just that's just for sake purpose but i suggest for the first 100 runs that you do make sure that you're doing beginner i also want to specify that for the first three of the day people didn't really understand but for every three uh, battles of hyper dimensional co-op of the day when the game resets every day like they do daily challenges and whatnot hyper dimensional as uh, co-op i also res resets and for the first three battles you can get bonus drops and that includes, if you do advance, you can get 100, um, 100 uh, dual coins and 100 tickets. So altogether 300 tickets and 300 dual coins per day for the first three runs in total. So that's why I suggested for the first three runs, even if you're in your first 100 runs on Hyper Dimensional Co-op in the missions tab, you still want to do advance because you want to get those 100 tickets and not the lower bonuses. There's like, you get a bonus for each stage but the first three doesn't matter like you can mix and match i could play beginner intermediate and advanced but they the beginner and intermediate one they give lower drops i believe like intermediate is like uh 60 and then beginner is like 40. you don't want to be getting those low amount of tickets you want to be getting the full 100 and it's not a difficult court boss compared to the other ones we've had in the past andrew 17 is not strong at all he's easy to destroy so more reasons why you should be playing advanced for the first three and definitely more so after you've got your first 100 wins of co-op because the rewards just drop to 150 and you don't want to be getting 150 uh, tickets when you could be getting a full 300. That's why I, I suggest after the first 100, I've probably repeated this so many times but I just got to go over it again so it gets in your head like I need to be as clear as, as, clear as possible. After the first 100 hyper dimensional co-op runs, you're no longer getting 300 tickets. So make that transition from a big beginner to advanced so you save your time and make the drops that you're getting, the total tickets that you're getting more worthwhile. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I'm pretty much hit um, 200 runs. Uh, the time I'm recording is I'm 180 but I'm just not rushing it because it's very time consuming, I'm not going to lie. And the event's going to be here for a while. Hyper Dimensional Co-op bosses are usually here for like a month and people are getting it out the way in a day or two like people have already got him Zenkai 7 and I'm like wow like you got a lot of more days you know so I don't want to kill myself for this event I'm gonna gradually build him up I'm also gonna gain tickets so that I can actually um, do a summoning video for the Goku uh, youth Zenkai event with which, which was hyper dimensional co-op as well I actually um, stacked up my tickets so that I could just do a summoning video showing different like I wanted to get all the animations in one video that's what I was aiming for. So I actually ended up doing that. That's what I'm going to do for this one here. So you can see I'm using Trunks. I've only got him Zenkai 3. But in my summoning section, I've probably got like 4k tickets. So I could actually get him to like Zenkai 5 or 6 straight off the bat. But I'm not going to do that because I want to make the summoning video with lots of tickets. Probably save up to like 10k then um, do that summoning video. But um, yeah, I believe that's pretty much it. Given that I'm going to make a summoning video, I don't suggest... That you make a summoning video unless you're a content creator of course go ahead i'm not going to stop you i'm not telling you not to i'm saying like if you're just literally trying to get the grind out the way as fast as possible i suggest you summon straight away so that your trunks can actually become stronger and that way you be clearing each battle that you do in advanced mode way faster just based off the fact that your trunks is stronger like a weaker trunks is not going to help you clear it faster so don't stack the tickets like i'm doing i'm just doing it so i can get out more content for you guys a summoning video is always good to see what the animations like it's always fun to see animations and whatnot uh this case here i kind of messed up with that special move but it's all good we move we move um but yeah it's just really a repetitive grind i know it's gonna really uh bug you it's really tedious just doing the same thing again advanced mode i had I've seen issues in the comments, some people saying that they're not able to play, like, 
the court mode just doesn't work for them it doesn't load i actually don't know what to do that to that i think that's just a legends problem with the servers and whatnot uh, a lot of people are getting that issue so it's not just you if you're getting that issue a lot of people are getting it so just keep trying is what i can tell you maybe use your mobile data instead of your wi-fi or use your wi-fi instead of your mobile data try different things so that you can get a connection and i guess it's probably about where you are in the world as well because i've been connecting very fine every day like I, people i've got to zenkai 7 so all i can say again is just keep trying hopefully you'll get in a few games a lot of games you're gonna need anyway and one more thing before i end off this video i do not recommend summoning for him using chronos chronos is not worth it because he's a free unit maybe if you wait till like the last day and you really want don't want to do the grind but you want to get into zenkai 7 i might suggest you use chronos because this zenkai event is not going to come back i don't see it coming back for a long time so you're definitely going to want to have zenkai 7 trunks you just how um People missed the opportunity to, to get uh, Goku uh, Zenkai 7 as well. Trunks is a really good unit for the future team. Even if you're not using him, that buff there. And he's also going to work very well with Goku Youth. That'll be a Legend Road team. Uh, this Legend Road team is going to be really good if they do one more Zenkai Legend Road event. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say for this video, man. Uh, just some quick advice over me just playing... Uh, and grinding the Trunks Youth event uh, for the Zenkai. Currently a Zenkai free, but I could be at higher because I've stacked up my tickets, but you get the gist, man. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, press the subscribe button. We're on this grind to 5K subs already. Got to clap out for you guys, man. Thank you guys for subscribing. Every one of you that pressed the red button, even if you're subscribing today, I appreciate it. If you have any more questions, leave a comment. I need to get into replying to the... Um, all of the comments of the other video which i'm going to do i've got to a lot of them but not all of them like there's like 200 so if i don't get to you i apologize but i will be trying to get to everybody like it's literally i'll have to sit there for like an hour or three honestly just replying to comments but i'm willing to put that in so yeah but um i'm gonna let this gameplay play out it's just some co-op gameplay i just don't want it to go to waste there's even like three more games after this one but it is what it is like i'm just playing so many games so i've got loads just on just on uh what you call it ice let's say on ice because they're just in storage but yeah my name's akashi and i'll see you guys in the next one